What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach and today I am very excited about our video because we are doing, as you guys saw in the thumbnail and the title, we're doing a all or a no legendary card deck and uh, let me tell you guys, uh, because you guys liked that last video so much that I did the no legendaries trying to win, I figured I'd do it again. We're going here against Whisper Dan. You can see I've got Engineer. It's probably the most, the highest damage card that's not a legendary that you guys can use. Chemist, extra damage. Bombardier, freeze them so that the uh, engineers can't get messed up. And then Portal Master to line up the engineers and Vampire to get that extra mana. It's a solid deck, but let me tell you guys right now. We are, I played for days trying to play no legendary decks up at about 6,000 trophies. Holy goodness, it is tough. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. It is extremely, extremely hard. You can do, you can do it. You can get Ws, but my God, it's really tough. You can see here, we're actually going up against a Shaman spam deck with no win condition. So this guy's basically, his whole game plan is to spam me as much as possible, get me out of my game, and get an easy win in the beginning. If he doesn't get a win in the beginning, he's not gonna get a win at all. We were lucky enough to go up against this guy. These uh, these gameplays aren't live. Um, but you can see this right now is at like 5,800 trophies. He's already having a tough time. We withstood the Shaman spam and we got a W right there, right in the beginning of the game. And to be perfectly honest, you needed to play this well even to get that win because I was switching as fast as I could. I avoided some of the shamans. We would have gotten in a lot of trouble, but let's jump into the main event. This other video here, I was playing today and I actually was able to get a couple wins in a row. I switched up my deck just slightly and I'm using Wind Archer, Plague Doctor, Chemist, Cold Mage, and Bombardier. So you can see I have no mana um, grabbers, no vampire, no cauldron, no, uh, what, what other, uh, uh, priestess, nothing like that. I'm going high damage, as high a damage as you can, and I'm going, uh, a lot of slow. So those are the only two things you can really do if you don't have any legendary. You gotta go high damage, high damage cards. I was using the sharpshooter for a little while. I was using, uh, the, the reaper I thought was a decent card because it gets instant kills, so that doesn't affect... Um, you can see he gets a hit right there against Cop Dog. We love it. We're another Shaman Spam. This deck is beating Shaman Spam, but we're going high, slow right there. We got a victory. Our first vic, this was the first victory today that I had with this deck. Uh, and I was super, super pumped up, but you got to go high as high a damage as you can. That's multiple cards that do damage, including like chemist that does increased damage. And you probably have to do multiple slow so we're you see i'm jumping right back into another game same deck right and we're going up against arvigo who's boreas shaman spam okay the thing is you guys might say oh he's just bricking like that's that's why you're getting wins partially true i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know lie to you but if you have such high damage and such uh, so much slow on your board that you can get wins early on the longer the game goes with no legendaries the harder a time you're gonna have okay they're you're not gonna out do out damage them you're not gonna out um last them in a long game but you might be able to slow more than them you might be able to get a jump on them right in the very beginning so that you can actually get an easy w you can see he's having a little bit of a hard time but he's trusting the fact he's leveling up his van his vampire is level three and he's only got a boreas so I'm trying to do my utmost to just get as much damage on the board as possible because that means that the monsters on his board come out quicker. I've got a rank three uh, wind archer. I'm avoiding, I'm trying to avoid all of the shaman spam. And you can see he's still upgrading his vampires. He was trying to upgrade his Boreas. But because we have so much damage, we're actually holding on. We got him on his back foot. We got a legendary guy on his back foot. There's two hits almost a third right there but we didn't get that third and uh, we got 41 seconds it looks like he's actually going to be able to hold on but we still have him on our back foot this is what's so important you got to jump on them as soon as you can in the beginning of the game okay right in the beginning of the game people are trying to level up their 
uh, vampires, people are trying to spam shamans. I've said this in my other videos when I'm playing shaman summoner, uh, so many people are shaman forward thinking, which means in the very beginning, they're spamming out as many shamans as possible, but they're not profiting as much as if when I play it, I'm summoner thinking, forward thinking. So I'm trying to spam out as much summoners and you get more value. You can actually spam out um, shamans later. Okay, but we got Gorgon. Both of our boards look absolute trash. But look at that first rock on the other guy's board. He froze the level two Boreas right there. He froze my only damage unit in the Wind Archer. And he rage quit. We made a Boreas Shaman deck rage quit. Holy smokes. But hey, that was two wins in a row. That's three wins with no legendaries. So it is possible. Okay, it is possible. Uh, and then we have one more game, and this is a game that goes a long time, and uh, and it's really, really tough. So I'm going, uh, I'm trying to do the, the long-lasting, just slow everything down as much as you can. No, no uh, mana grabbers, anything like that, and it's really, really tough, guys. I put the Plague Doctor in there because there's no really good AoE unit that's not a uh, legendary. I mean, the only good AoE unit other than the Plague Doctor is pretty much... Inquisitor when you have the right amount of, of players. I feel like I've been talking so much Let's take a second. Let's have some coffee. Uh, yeah, it's a rainy day today, so I'm in my comfy sweats But let's jump into this video jump into this game right here. We're still rocking wind archer bombardier cold mage chemist plague doctor And it's a pretty good combination if you can set your stuff up yourself up pretty Solidly you have a pretty good chance of winning. Okay? Um, again, the reason I don't have Engineer in this deck is because if I put Engineer in this deck, I pretty much have to have a Portal Master, and you have a really hard time against Portal Master, or with the Portal Master, because it's just a, it's a tough card to play with. Uh, one card that I have been trying to play around with, I'm, I'll, just I'll just talk about kind of my path of trying to create a deck with no Legendaries. I had Priestess in there. If you guys are having a really hard time with Shaman, you want stuff that you can merge out. A, so like Mime is pretty solid. Priestess is another excellent card to use against Shaman because if it comes down and steals your Priestess, you actually profit for it. So I was running Priestess for a little while trying to figure it out. So Engineer, Priestess, Mime, uh, Portal Master. The only problem with that deck is you really need a lot of luck, okay? Because you can get screwed with level three, level four Portal Masters that aren't doing anything, level four Priestesses that aren't doing anything. So if you have Priestess, I would almost say play with it. And don't even combine them out, Let it, especially if you're playing against Shaman, probably only when you're playing against Shaman. Don't even combine them out that much because uh, they'll come down and steal and you'll profit without combining them out and getting a high rank, something that you don't want. But uh, that's why I use the Wind Archer because I don't need to like move people around. You can see we're going up against the Gorgon. Our board is pretty full. The only reason I haven't combined people out is because I'm playing against the Gorgon. I want as many uh, units on my board as possible. You see that he's... Uh, He's coming down, giving me a laughing face or a thumbs up, whatever. Whenever people see, he's hit me with a good, good luck. Whenever people see that I'm playing with a no legendary deck, they immediately are like, oh man, BM him. I don't know if they recognize my name and they're like, oh, we're going to beat, you know, Game by the Beach. But whatever it is, uh, it's pretty funny because as soon as I queue into a game with my Shaman Boreas deck, man, they're, they're awfully silent. But, <laughs> but with the no legendaries, they're trying to, it's just like beating up the fifth grader, beating up the second grader. That's pretty much what it is. Um, but right here, we got Tribunal in a minute 15, and we're holding tight. So you look at this guy's deck, it's completely meta, right? Boreas Spam, he's got Vampire in there, Mime, very, very meta. But we're holding tight, and that's pretty much all you can ask for is to hold tight in these games and make them close games. Um, I'm assuming that most of you guys who are asking for no legendary um, wins or no legendary cards to get wins are not up at 6,000 trophies. I'm assuming you're not up at 6,000 trophies. Maybe that's the goal. But if your goal is to get to 5,000 trophies, these decks will work for you. These are good combination decks, and you can see the cards that I'm playing, car cards I'm playing with, the cards that I'm talking about, they're really good cards. At 6,000 trophies, you should have had an opportunity to get a couple of legendaries by then. So hopefully you don't need a fully no legendary deck, and you can have throw in the Dryad, throw in Frost even, which is solid. For, throw in something that's you know, you know know not necessarily the best legendary in the world, but something that's pretty solid. Um, but you can see here we're starting to lose a little bit of traction. The only reason we're still alive right now is because we have slow and cold, slow and stun, but they're getting right to the end of our board. We got 10 seconds. 
Oh, we're trying to hold on. There's two hits. Six seconds, five seconds. Oh my goodness, three seconds, two seconds, and we're actually going to be able to hold on at uh, four Tribunal. Let's start merging everybody out because Tribunal is about to hit. I uh, try to spam my board, but I don't have any mana. But you can see we're trying to hold tight as long as we can. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying. And this is pretty much what you have to do with these decks. You have to have a niche, okay? Whether it's super high damage, he's BMing me, it's funny. Super high damage or super amount of slow. And then you have your best opportunity to get a win. But again, this is up at 6,000 trophies. So everybody's running Boreas Shaman Spam or Engineer Shaman Spam or uh, Inquisitor, whatever the heck you want. Um, but we're not going to be able to take this guy out. This is going to be an L. But right there, we did end up getting a few Ws with no legendaries. So if you guys are having trouble, try out some of these decks, especially if you're at 3,000, 4,000, even 5,000. Um, it's pretty solid. Or it's pretty solid. But, you know, like I said earlier, I don't want to, like, try to give you guys false help. Look at my board. Look how much I dropped. This is for you guys. I'm dropping trophies trying to figure out decks for you guys. And you can see I dropped over 500 trophies or something like that. So... Uh, you know, try it out. Give, really do give it a try. If you're at lower level trophies, I think these decks will work better for you. But we were able to get a couple of Ws with no legendaries uh, and take out a few Shaman decks and, and a few Shaman uh, Scumbag decks. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped. Uh, and if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. This is going to be the end of the YouTube video. And I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.